Do you often feel restricted by traditional building designs? Do you dream of a home with soaring ceilings, open spaces and a unique architectural feature that sets it apart? Welcome at Bartlick Bartlick Channel for construction basic knowledge. What is a scissors truss? The scissors truss is a type of truss structure where the bottom cords are inclined, connecting to the rafters. This is quite uncommon. In most other trusses, the bottom cords are horizontal. Scissor trusses are mainly used for roof structures. Let's have a look at the scissor truss and its members, rafter, posts, bottom cord. What is the scissors truss used for? Scissor trusses are mainly used as roof structures of sheds or in general, when roof structures with a higher vaulted ceiling are required. In most cases, timber is the main material, however steel could also be an option. Let's look at the static system to get a better understanding of the structural behavior of this truss type. Static system, static system of the scissors truss. The static system of the scissors truss is characterized by having hinge connections at all modes, a pin and roller support, which makes the system statically determinate. Therefore, the internal forces can be calculated with the three equilibrium equations. Hinges. Most truss structures are designed with hinge connections, mainly due to two reasons. Easier to calculate. Trusses with hinge connections make the structure statically determinate which means that the internal forces can be calculated by hand. Especially until advanced finite element software programs weren't widely available. This was the main reason for using hinge connections. If fixed connections are used, but no software is available, advanced methods like the method of consistent deformation can be used. However, these methods are complicated and susceptible to calculation failures. Cost. Hinge connections are cheaper to build than fixed connections. The scissors truss with fixed connections has the following differences to hinge connections. Bending moments in the connections. More rigidity, more robustness, smaller vertical deflection. Scissors truss with fixed and hinge connections. The most realistic static system is actually a mix of fixed and hinge connections. So why is this the most realistic static system? It's because usually the rafters and bottom cords are delivered in one piece, meaning that they are constructed continuous and the post is attached to them. The rafters basically turn into a two-span continuous beam, which means that the static system is no longer statically determinate. This means that advanced methods with FEP programs need to be used to calculate the internal forces like moment, normal and shear forces. Alright, now that we have learned how to set up our static system, we are ready to calculate the internal compression and tension forces of the statically determinate truss. Advantages and disadvantages, pros, aesthetically pleasing structures, unique and attractive appearance. Scissors trusses create more height in a room due to the inclination of the bottom cords. Span, the scissors truss can span longer than other types, cons, limited height of the rafters. Cost, the cost might be higher due to the complexity of scissors trusses. However, the pros and cons depend on many factors and can vary for each structure or location.
The pros and cons of scissor trusses. Should you install scissor trusses to support your roof? The decision depends on your needs and your home's layout. Some of the reasons you may want to choose scissor trusses include the following. Ease of installation. Compared to other trusses, scissor trusses are simple to install, significantly reducing installation costs. Extra vertical space in living areas. Unlike a frame trusses, scissor trusses allow you to take advantage of the full height of your space. If you're building support in your attic, this may not be a concern, but if your living room has a vaulted ceiling, it certainly is. A few of the problems you may face when installing scissor trusses include Difficulty in insulation Traditional flash and bat insulation needs to get into every corner of a space and scissor trusses make it difficult to fill those corners in. Blown in insulation may fall downhill unless if your roof is steep. Tight access to eaves Scissor trusses can make life more difficult for roof inspectors and construction workers. This narrow clearance can especially be an issue in your exterior walls. I hope that this video helps you understand the scissors truss and how to go further from here. In case you still have questions, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and share.